Well, we've got the athletes out on the track. Now for the first semi-final of the men's 800 metres, Curtis Robb goes in lane one, but it may well be held because of the possibility of a medal ceremony. It's a very, very, very difficult uh, semi-final. The first four go into the final, which will be run on Tuesday. And Curtis Robb, sixth in the Olympic final in 92, fourth in the World Championship two years ago, is the outsider in this field. Member of Liverpool Harriers, he's now 23. He's the slowest man in the field, but of course he's coming back from virus and injuries. The full lineup will be Rob, Great Britain in lane one, Giacondi, Italy in two, Perilla, America in three, Sepeng, South Africa in four, Mark Everett, United States in five, Kip Keita, the fastest man in the world, the Kenyan now based in Denmark and running for his new country, he goes in lane six, Kibitok, the Kenyan, in lane seven, and Atlee Douglas of Norway in lane number eight. Clearly they're going to get these uh, athletes out of the way before the ceremony. One would hope so because they're stripped off and waiting. Mark Everett promised so much at international level has yet to achieve it. Second in the American Championships, but he's been four times the American champion for. Kip Keita is the man to watch in the red and white of Denmark in lane six, slightly hidden there by the video man. Wilson Kikita, he's 24, 142.87 this season. He won in Monaco in that time, the fifth fastest of all time and the, fifth and the fastest time in the world this year. Went to live in Denmark in 1990 and uh, qualified to represent Denmark in May of this year. Kabitok, good competitor, fairly new though, on the scene, he's the Kenyan Armed Forces Champion, third in the Kenyan Championship. Incidentally, Curtis Robb, drawn on the inside, is delaying his medical studies for one year at Sheffield University, trying to get back to full. The first semi-final of the men's 800 metres run in lanes for the first bend, and then they break, and the first four go into the final. And Rob has gone off very quickly. Not a good draw in lane number one. He's got to go quickly in order not to get boxed, and he's done just that. He's committed now. Giacconi of Italy in second place at the moment. They're settling down, just 200 metres gone. And Rob now in full. But is he fit enough to survive against this field after all his virus and injury problems? Giacondi in second place. Perella, the American, right on the curb. Did well to qualify after being hopelessly boxed in the quarterfinal. Sepeng, the South Africa, comes up into third place. Perilla four. Kapito, five. And staying out of trouble at the back is the favourite, Kip Keita. He must be very confident. The time's slow at the bell. 55.51. Our Curtis Robb has really got to drive it. He probably hasn't got a, too much of a change of pace at the moment. Giacondi on the inside looking for space there. Curtis Robb is allowing him daylight. And Robb suddenly kicks. He responds to the challenge of Sepeng. And Robb, with just over 200 to go, has really gone for it. And just look at Kip Keita. He came from last to first in no time. And it's Kip Keita by himself. The race for the places between the rest. The first four qualify. Giacondi is second at the moment. Sepeng third. Rob is out of it. And Perilla on the near side. Kip Keita wins. Perilla second. In third place was Giacondi. And fourth was Everett. The time, very slow indeed. 148.39. Rob did his best, but he's not ready yet at this level. Well, we found out a lot of things about Rob, Curtis Rob today. I don't think he ran tactically very wisely. He ran down the back straight, he put himself in position after 200 metres in 25 seconds, and then he led them round for the next 200 metres in 30 seconds. And running at 800 metres like that is not really the wisest way to do it. 
but look at Kitter. It doesn't matter what Curtis Robb was going to do today against this man. This man ran the last 200 meters in 24 seconds, which is absolutely amazing. But then the other qualifiers, two Americans and the Italian, but Curtis Robb, a very sad and a very disappointed last place. And that's Britain's middle, ja middle distance challenge out of it. Down the back straight, Curtis Robb realized he was being challenged from Sepeng, and he really took off. He sprinted with about 250 meters to go, and he looked in full flow there. But then when the challenge came to Curtis Robb, he really didn't find anything at all. And his last 200 meters would be very disappointing. When he goes away and analyzes his race, I think you'll find that he played to everybody else's strength and not his own.